Sam had been saved from scrap and made an excursion engine, which means he travels from place to place pulling special trains and sharing stories with people. He enjoyed it, but still felt rather lonely, being the only steam engine wherever he went. Some other steam engines were still around, even if they weren't in use. David had stayed in the Cheyenne Roundhouse for a long time after being retired, but finally had been put on display next to the old depot. It's better than collecting dust, he thought, but he wasn't quite sure. For several years, David stayed on the siding, enduring rain, snow, and sun. Sometimes people would stop to take pictures, but they never stayed long. Sometimes he would see Sam returning from one of his excursions. They said hello to each other, but eventually David would be left alone again. Sam felt sorry for him. We should at least build a roof over him, he told his crew. They all wanted to help David and spoke to the manager. They found he agreed with them, but had a better idea than building a roof over David. One day, Sam was woken up by the door opening. He could hear a diesel struggling with something heavy. He was shocked as David was pushed into the shop next to him. What are you doing here? He asked. David smiled excitedly. They brought me in here because they want to restore me to working order. I'm going to be an excursion engine, just like you. As it turns out, said the foreman, many people have been asking for us to restore another engine. David is the perfect choice. Both engines were thrilled. Work took a long time, but finally David's fire was lit and he had steam again. When news spread, a huge crowd gathered to see the two engines. From that day on, they would become some of the most famous in the world. But they were surprised when, one day, they learned they weren't the only ones.